you're walking through the streets of downtown South Bend, you can often hear the sounds of music coming from some of the buildings. People can enjoy the sounds, but those looking to be able to play may find themselves at the Music Village. The Music Village has been in existence now for about six years, actually, and we started with one group guitar lesson in uh, May of 2012, I think it was, with four students, two adults and two children. And since that time, we've grown uh, now to over 100 students in all instruments, some children's programs, uh, jam sessions, uh, lots of wonderful things going on here at the Music Village. Josh Airy is more than just the executive director of the Music Village. My background is in uh, performance, actually. I'm a cellist and conductor. And uh, when um, this particular job opened up, it seemed a wonderful uh, and new and challenging way for me to be involved in South Bend. But I wanted to know why someone who comes from the world of performing would choose to help teach others how to play. It's very fortunate to be offered the position of executive director. Um, and immediately I just loved the uh, opportunity to make connections in the community, to build bridges uh, with other community organizations and individuals through music and dance and education and uh, community programming. Usually children will be given the opportunity to take part in musical activities in school. And with so many music programs being cut due to budget issues, the Music Village serves as a place for them to learn. But if you're not a child in school still, there's no need to worry. Music Village serves all age groups. We have uh, programming for uh, infants all the way up to retired folks and uh, all those different age groups are represented throughout. So if you're an older person and have always wanted to learn how to play an instrument, the Music Village has ways to get involved. We have uh, programs that attract adults such as our jam sessions, music theory classes, as well as a lot of our private and group lessons. These jam sessions happen on Monday and Tuesday nights. I had the opportunity to see one of them in action. The players were just having fun playing songs together, and the community is welcome to sit in and enjoy the soothing melodies. But I also wanted to learn more about classes meant for young children, many of whom aren't even able to read yet. We have a classes that attract kids, like uh, the Music For Me class, uh, that's for zero to five years old. Uh, as well as the STEM and music uh, program we have going on in the public school system. Classes like this one are designed to foster confidence and build curiosity in young children. The young ones in this class are being given an early start on learning how to play some of the more simple instruments and to appreciate the importance of music. They have the chance to play games, sing songs, and of course, make some music of their own. Anyone looking to learn more about these programs and what else can be offered, including all the different types of lessons, that information is readily available. You are welcome to visit us online. Our web address is www.themusicvillage.org. They can always give us a call, 574-245-SONG, uh, and uh, we'd be happy to talk with folks further about ways they can be involved in music and dance. You won't be able to hear music in this building for too much longer. That's because the Music Village is leaving its home here at the JMS building and making its way over here to the Friends of St. Joseph County Public Library building, where they hope to continue their mission of bringing music to people of all ages. It's time for us to expand and time for us to move. Uh, we are in a lower level and we're difficult to find. Parking is a little bit of a challenge. We've outgrown this particular space in uh, the JMS building. And so we've been very fortunate to uh, collaborate with the library, to have signed a lease and to be moving into um, their building on 333 South Michigan. It has been a community effort to build up the Music Village. That's why they feel a new space will only help to serve the community even more. We're going to be able to nearly tri triple our uh, square footage. We'll be able to offer a much bigger dance floor. We'll be able to offer uh, soundproof classrooms. Uh, we'll be able to offer a wonderful accessibility. Um, uh, people can park very easily around us and come right in the door and enjoy the Music Village. And with this growth, the Music Village is hoping to become a more visual part of the ever-changing face of the downtown South Bend cultural scene. It's been wonderful to be engaged in the downtown energy and revitalization here in South Bend that's been going on here for a good number of years now. And to look into the future and see the Music Village be a real crucial part of the arts and culture here in the downtown corridor. With its new location and its new look, the Music Village will be furthering its mission to make sure the music continues to play 
For music is a part of all of our lives. I've never met anyone who has said that they don't like or enjoy music in some way. And most people want to know more about it or experience more of it or play it or be involved in it in some way. And that's really what the Music Village is about.